If you want to see every house in Monarch's Bluffs in New World so you can pick your house without having to spend Azoth to get there, then you've come to the right place. I'm Daverage Gamer, and I'll be your virtual realtor today. There are 15 houses here in Monarch's Bluffs, and I'll show you as quickly as I can where they are, what they cost, without the 50% first-time discount, and what's inside. There are two Tier 1 houses, five Tier 2s, three Tier 3s, and five Tier 4s. Let's start by looking at the Tier 1 houses. First house is right next to the town hall here up on the hill. Inside you'll see it's a very small one room house, but it has a great view. The second Tier 1 is in the southeast corner. Once again, a single room, but this time no view and no backyard. Now onto the Tier 2 houses. Let's go right next door to our first one. This house has a little bit of room to run around on the side. But inside, it's just a single room. Our next tier 2 is just inside the east entrance. This has a small porch in the front, no access in the back, but it does have a second floor. No balconies or good views here, but plenty of room. Our next tier 2 is just inside the south entrance. There's a small porch and the inside is just a single room. We do have a backyard with this one though that looks out to the east. Our next tier 2 is just to the northwest. Let's take a look inside. We got a small front porch. The main level with no back access. And a second floor. Our last tier 2 is one street over to the west. Let's take a look inside. There's a small front porch. A main level with no access. And then upstairs standard tier 2 layout. Next up, the tier 3s. This first tier 3 is close to the east entrance and the eastern crafting area. Let's take a look inside. You have a small front porch, a small main floor, second floor with a fireplace, and a third floor. You do have a balcony out the back that lets you look at the eastern crafting area and the rest of town. There's also a front window, but your view is blocked by trees and other buildings. The next tier 3 is right around the corner from that house, pretty centrally located. Let's take a look inside. You have a small front porch, a small first floor, a second floor with a fireplace, and this time the rear balcony looks out on the northern area of town. and it has a south facing window. Up on the third floor, we've got another fireplace, and that's it for this house. Our last tier three is in the northeastern part of the zone, sandwiched between two tier four houses and the only tier three in this upper area. If you want to be close to a trading post and sword shed, but don't want to spend the money on a tier four, this is your best spot. Let's take a look inside. We've got a front porch, a main floor. You also have a backyard to run around in, even though it faces a wall. Up on the second floor, you have a fireplace. The third floor, you have a front window that looks over the northern area of the town. And out the back balcony, you can see outside of Monarch's Bluffs. Now, last but not least, the tier fours. We'll go one house to the north to the first tier four up in this northern section. Let's take a look inside. You have a front balcony, small first floor, with a little area to run around in the backyard. Second floor has a fireplace. And the third floor has a front window that looks over the northern area. Fireplace. And the back balcony looks outside Monarch's Bluffs. Our next tier four is two houses to the south in this northern section. Let's take a look inside. You have a small front porch, first floor, and a little backyard with a tree. On the second floor, we've got a fireplace. On the third floor, we have a front window overlooking the northern area. And another back balcony looking outside of Monarch's Bluffs. Our next tier four is in the southern area of town between the southern and eastern crafting areas. Let's take a look inside. We've got a front porch, big main level with a fireplace and a backyard that looks at the eastern crafting area. Upstairs on the second floor, you've got another fireplace, but no balcony or big windows. Our next tier four is on the southwestern side of town. 
very close to the southern crafting area. Let's take a look inside. We've got a little front yard, a little side yard as well, and a front porch. The main floor, you've got a fireplace. Second floor, you've got another fireplace. And that's it for this tier four. Our last tier four is right in the middle of town between the northern area, the southern and eastern crafting areas. We've got a small front porch. The main floor has a fireplace. And there is a backyard as well. It looks out to the west. Inside on the second floor, we've got another fireplace. That's it for this tier four. In fact, that's it for all the houses here in Monarch's Bluffs. What were your favorites? What size house are you going to buy? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.